phone. That time I had no voice. I cannot come. But that time I asked God, Lord, let your spirit, Holy Spirit be the one to teach. And I do not know who is that younger, but I know. Young generation comes from that. And it is the spirit of God who took over the preaching. So today I'm going to share with you about the spiritual connection. First, we have to remember where we come from. The form of man, God was pure and holy and righteous that he cannot even bear to look upon sin and evil. Those days when during the Eden, Adam and Eve, they cannot see themselves as men. Do you know why? Because they are connected to the Spirit of God and they are living the Spirit of God that they cannot see themselves naked until they took that forbidden fruit and God cannot connect with them and they were separated and was kicked out from eternity kingdom. This is what they call eternity kingdom. That is heaven. And this is the place that we have to go back and return back. Because what was promised when we eat that forbidden food is we will die. Why are they going to not die? But they die after that. They die in their spiritual. We were separated from God. And God has no connection to us anymore. John 3, uh, 3, verse 3. Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. Okay? In John 3, 5, Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the spirit. All of us here are born again. Because you are here today and you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. But we cannot go back to our home if we die at the age of 80 or 100 or 120 years old. We will die and go back to the ground. Sir. But we will go after that. We know that there is two kingdoms. Kingdom of hell and kingdom of heaven. Kingdom of heaven is where we call the new Eden. That is where God has promised us to go home to. So we are here on this world is only temporary. And every day, even this week, you hear volcano. Even my place, there will have volcano. There is also a volcano story. I cannot come back last week because there is a volcano eruption. After volcano eruption, Dubai is flooded. Where did you feel? There is a flood. So this is a sign of time. This world is only temporary. So God says, when we are born again, okay, and we want to go back to God. Huh? So there's two ways that we can go back to God. We should be born of water and the spirit. Okay. This is our body. Okay. And physical. In our body and physical, we have our own personality. I am with this personality. Okay. Personality is our and will. Okay? So physical personality, mind and will, which is our soul. This body, when we die, our soul will come. Go back to God. So this soul inside us is our personality, our mind and our will. Physical is created by dust. We will go back to the dust, and when we die, the soul will go back to God. Sad. So after that, way, the soul will go. Okay. Then, emotion also part of the soul. So after the fall of man, our body and soul, which is physical, and our emotion, personality, mind, which is soul, are separated from the spirit of God. So, after the fall, we are separated. Means we are separated from God. So how do we go back to God? God, in the Old Testament, you know, 
from all these words. He tried to communicate with us, even if his personality is he cannot connect with us because of our sin. God has no personality of sin, and he cannot connect with us because of sin, because God totally is not projecting the form. So he tried to connect with us with dreams. Have you ever dreamed before? Yes. Amen. Amen. Okay. So God tried to communicate with us during the Old Testament by dreams and vision, Daniel and Revelation. Angel, angel will come to talk to Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. And visions, Daniel, and even to the donkey. God used donkey to communicate with us and prophets. So God was trying to connect with us in many ways since the Old Testament. From the time he took the Israelites out from Egypt, he tried to connect with us and still these people cannot enter into the promised land. Why? Because they are so much connected to their emotion, their mind, their will and their personality that leads them to the fall because there is no spiritual that cannot can connect to us but God never give up He still trying to connect with us until He created the temple and then still the people was rebels against Him until He used prophets, He used king, He used angels, He used strongly in every way to try to communicate with us. John 3, 17. That is why the only way that God will connect with us is one. There is no one, even the land that they slaughter and throw the blood and everything cannot bring us back to our new home. Unless we will totally connect with him. He cannot connect with us. The only way is through Christ. He himself, the Son of God, who do not know any sin, who is holy, perfect, needs to come down into the mortal body and to take all the sin so for the sin and die at the foot of the cross. Because of what? Because he loves each one of them. Amen? Amen. Amen. Rona, Jesus loves you? Amen. Amen. Sister, Jesus loves you? Amen. Brother, Jesus loves Amen. you? Amen. 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 Okay. Amen. Jesus loves each one of us and he do not want each one of us to perish. God loves each one of us. That he is willing to be separated from the perfect kingdom who doesn't know anything to this world and absorb all our sin, absorb all our sickness, absorb all our death, all our pain, all our curse. When we really look into the foot of the cross, at the cross, Jesus was beaten. But when he was living this world, he did not do anything. He did not do anything. But when he was, I think you you show you saw the previous preaching, how he was stripped thirty nine to forty times with represent disease, thirty nine to forty times of disease. He died so he will not die young. He was fed. He was fed. So that we will not be spared. He was condemned and he was judged. So that we will not be condemned and we will not be judged. And yet, the people who was around him still disbelieve. But yet God says he will not give up. Then on the third day, as he said, he rise up from heaven. And he promised us the gift, which is the Holy Spirit. 
So we know that we are men, we have a body and we have a soul. How to connect ourselves with God is to be connected with the Spirit of God. When you are born again, you are born of water and the Spirit of God is in you. The Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, is not a child Holy Spirit. So, ah, Arian, go, go preach to Arian. Ano. Arian, teach to Udira, my spirit is still young. I am still young in the church. The Holy Spirit is not young. Amen. The Holy Spirit is perfect. Amen. Amen. It is perfect. Holy Spirit, each one, when you accept the Christ Jesus, is already in each one of you. So you cannot say, I'm not competent in to spread the gospel. It's not. Through the Holy Spirit, you are made perfect by God. But how do we connect with the Spirit? Now, 2 Corinthians 1, 21-22. Now, it is God who makes us and you stand firm in Christ. He anointed us, set His seal of ownership in us, and put His Spirit in our heart as a deposit, guaranteeing what it is to come. So when you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, He put a deposit in yes. us. And that deposit the devil knows. And He will try to steal from you, guaranteeing us for our salvation. So when you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you are already being paid and deposited by God on the victory of Christ at the foot of the cross. Amen. So there is no one that is here which are born again and accepted God who has the Holy Spirit inside you as imperfect. All of you are perfect in Christ. Amen. And how do we connect with it? We have the deposit. It's like when we go to the bank, buy money. When we want to buy a house, we deposit, huh? So, so when you deposit, nobody can buy anymore. Yeah. Jack, when we buy a uh, gold, <laughs> we put a deposit. Can we still, uh, can anybody uh, book that one? No, no, nobody can take that gold anymore until you fully paid. Rona, when you deposit a car, oh, um, I know, uh, Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> okay, amen. We declare. Ferrari, car for Sister Rona. When we put a deposit, no one can buy that car. Same thing like God. When we he put a deposit on us, which is the Holy Spirit, that is the righteousness of God in Christ, the victory of Christ in us, no one can take it away from us because we are booked by God. The enemy cannot take it unless someone will remove your deposit or you remove the deposit. Then that's the time you cannot be him anymore. Okay? Amen? Amen? So the spirit is like the flesh comes for nothing. The words I have spoken to you, they are full of spirit and life. So we know that the word of God is spirit. Spirit. And the word of God is God Himself. Unless we commune with God, okay, which is the spirit. If we daily commune with God and pray to God, communicate with God, okay? Yeah, Arian, you come here. Sister, come here. I will show you some sample. Come, come to the front. Okay, 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 this is the physical. This is the Holy Spirit. Okay? When He, this is the physical. Mm -hmm. huh? So mm -hmm. He looked at the physical. Okay, turn to Arya. And Arya, <laughs> oh sorry, Arya will put the mirror of the world. Okay? Anatol, every day, if he commune with the world, the world will take over his soul, and what is in his mind is the world. physical, the world. Okay, then Rona, open the But if the soul will look to Rona, which is the Bible, the word of God, 
If every day the soul will read the word of God, he will connect with the Holy Spirit, and the Spirit will connect and they will commune with each other. You got a sample? But if every day, every day, if we look into the world, and the mirror, 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 mirror of the world. <laughs> Who is the most modern of all? <laughs> so, he will reflect on <laughs> Okay, but if he will reflect on the money, pera, pera, pera. So, pera, okay? So, even how they will try to earn money, they cannot earn. But when they will reflect, and they reflect to the spirit and the word of God, which is the spirit of God, and God will connect to her, and then they will commune. His soul will reflect on God, and they will reflect to the spirit. But I'm world. a world. So, thank you, thank you. Nice example. My macho, five apps. <laughs> or oh, then to the spirit, I can do all things with God. Amen. 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 All the victory of righteousness. All the, when we turn to God, we don't need to search for money. Do you know why? Money will serve you. Amen. Amen. Because God was strict into nakedness and poverty and he was sold. That represents poverty. That represents shame. God, when you are connecting to the Spirit of God, God will never assign and plan for us to be poor unless you make yourself poor. To which mirror you are going to turn? To the world or to the God? Amen? Amen. So, this is the mirror, mirror of the world. Okay? So, if we will connect to the world, we will see us like, okay? That is why there are many people, even they just, I see, I, I read a lot of uh, success, multi trillionaire dollar. At the end of the day, they got cancer and life. And they were sad, lonely. But there are many multi trillionaires who is born again. Amen. They are happy. They live up to 100 years old, 90 years old, still strong, still preaching, still joyful, and have an eternal hope. Amen. 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 So, buddy. Okay. So, how do we connect with the Spirit of God? First, the door is that. What is our door? What are we putting in our mind? So, transformation of our man, mind connect us with the spirit of God. So we need to pray. Okay? The meaning to pray, I will repeat this word as my previous preaching. The minute you pray, the first thing that happened, God will be your true self, which is the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. Your true self is the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. It's not the mirror mirror of the world. Amen. It's the true spirit, the Holy Spirit that is in you. And when God revealed your true self, that is the Holy Spirit living within you, within you that is perfect as a born again, that is when repentance happened, and that is when God Almighty literally created a room in you, which is your soul, and come into your situation. Okay? There is a moment when you come to an end of yourself and strength and resources. A moment when you can't even utter a word in prayer because of brokenness. You just need to ask God, Lord, I can't do it. I don't know how. Then the Holy Spirit will take over. And your prayers become real and pure, right from the heart, not the mind. The mind. 
It is not the prayer list, it is the cry of the heart that now comes forth that the Bible talks about. Okay? So when my husband was put in jail for nearly three months, ask a wife, you will lose him. Emotionally and physically, I feel hopeless. I feel lost. I feel I want to commit suicide. That is what the physical will tell you. When you have something very important taken from you, you feel like you are lost. But when you come into the presence of God praying, fighting the battle of your mind in prayer and the word of God, the Holy Spirit will make room inside you and He will take over the prayer and bring victory upon us. Amen? Amen. So now my husband is out. He's happy. He's getting fat. But I don't know why I'm fat with him because we eat together. <laughs> and we enjoy together because this is what the victory will be. The Holy Spirit will teach us to pray. And in, in, in everywhere we go, okay, we must know that when we connect with God, when we pray, angels is with you. And He will write your book. Okay? okay? So in our daily life, whose voice is to follow? The Word of God is God Himself. And the Word of God is the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Word of God is miracle. The Word of God is anointing. Amen. When you put that, connect the Word of God, believing with faith. Some people say, okay, I will show you one, uh, two pastors. One of the pastors, he just um, raised his son from death. The son committed suicide. He was drug overdose and he died for five hours in the mortuary. It's already pronounced that with a sticker, you know? The, the dead people is with the names and sticker. He went there. He managed to raise his son from that. And one day there is someone who came to the church with a big cancer growth in the, the, the member. So he said, Rise! And I command you to be healed in Jesus' name. Take the woman up. And then when they took the woman up, she dropped down one time. And then he said, Then everybody go, Oh, Kawawa. But still did not heal. And he said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And he put it back. And then, uh, May God uh, be with you and have peace with you. And then he sent the sick home. So he's wondering. I just raised my son from death. But why can't I heal this lady? Then God says, it's because of your unbelief. So another pastor experienced the same thing. He says, Greg, take her up. I command you to be healed in Jesus' name. And then when they took her up, fall down on the floor. Pick her up again. I declare that you are here in Jesus' name. She fall down again. Pick her up. Then all the members, oh, wow, wow. Why are you going to these sick people? She will not part time because of that. <laughs> but on the third time, she was in. Because he believed. Same thing like the word of God. We hear billions and billions of words of God. But do we believe every word that God says? Amen. Amen? Amen? Do we put it in our mind? Yes, Lord. The Word of God. So, God works with us in process, from glory to glory, from one place to higher place. But we have to work with Him by receiving His Word daily, putting our focus on Christ, love, and His victory over our life, not allowing the world to fill us with their ways and thought. It should be daily and not weekly, not only on Friday that you will listen to the word of God. It's daily. You don't need to go to the mountain to look for God. I need to go to the Holy Land to see God and pray that God will answer our prayer. No. Where is your temple? The temple of God is all inside you. Amen. Spirit of God all inside you. Amen. God is in you. Amen. 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 
So don't think that I am not worthy. I am not worthy. I am worthy, Lord. Don't ever think that that is the lie of the enemy. Amen. When you believe that you are worthy in the eyes of God, slowly, gradually, and suddenly. Amen. 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 So, when scriptures are open to you and things concerning Jesus are at will, your heart will be set up and burn within you. And when gradually you pray and listen to God by reading His word, consistently believing and speaking to your mind and situation, gradually then suddenly miracle happen. Before when I started to know my identity, I went to the church of law. Oh, I was appointed at the I was told that I am going to be anointed, I'm going to be declared as a saint in the church. <laughs> I'm a saint in the church. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> but why I did not follow that path? Because it's a church of law. The word God was not with me because of this understanding. So but when I understand the Identity, your identity, each one of you. When you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, dear Rona, you are perfect in Jesus Christ. Sister, you are perfect in Jesus Christ. Brother, you are perfect in Jesus Christ. You are born again. You are the light of the world. You are the soul of the earth. You are the righteous of God in Christ. You are the children of the mighty God in heaven. You are all appointed and mandate. Appointed and mandate. Amen. To be the children of God, and the son of God, the spirit of God. Right? So, when slowly, Jack, when slowly, when slowly, then suddenly, when you continue to commune with God, you can become American. There is none of us, we cannot always think that Pastor Bernard and Pastor Irene only can heal people. You cannot depend on uh, Brother Jack on me to be able to cook food. Uh -huh. Sister Rona, uh -huh. all of us are given a perfect Holy Spirit in you. Amen. All of us have given a perfect gift that is living inside you where you can rise the dead, when you can miracles. Yeah. When I remember when I start to declare that I am the righteous of God, I am the daughter of the Most High God, I've been born by the blood of Jesus. Do you know what happened? My house was empty. I was so poor because I gave all my life in the church of law. I gave perfect ties even more to the church. But I'm asking God, oh Lord, why I'm still so poor? I serve you, I give you all my life. Why I am still poor? And that time, I was kicked out from my house. My husband kicked me out and get another woman in his life. In that time when I was the church elder of that church, my husband kicked me out. I was kicked out from the house. I have no way to go. And my family is on me because I follow reading the Bible. <laughs> Check the Bible. Don't listen to the Bible. That was the word. Why are you following the Bible? You are confused. You are now uh, uh, like uh, stray away from the belief. No one wants to look at me. All my friends. I ask God. Until I know that God shows me a book to know my identity as the child of righteousness. We are all righteous in, prayer, in, in the eyes of God. When I kneel down, my house was very empty, my fridge empty, my pocket empty. Really, I'm telling you. But when I kneel down and I ask God, I first thing declare this, Lord, I'm the righteous of God in Christ. I'm the salt of the earth. I've been bought by the blood of Jesus. I'm the, the uh, light of the world. I'm the righteous of God in Christ. I'm the daughter of the Most High God. When I started to declare verbally, not in the mind, huh? This is verbally. The mind battles your identity. But when you know that the word of God 
goes into you and you believe this word and you start to speak. The word that comes from your mouth is a sword. Amen. So what you put in your mind, which is the word of God, when you speak, it will be a sword. What happened, the house shake. The door start to boom, 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 boom. The furniture start to shake. And suddenly, I continue to declare and declare and declare. Then suddenly the door, all the house door and the window was boom, boom, boom. Open and shut. So who left the house? The bedroom. One thing that the enemy likes to attack is your mind. mind. So that is why we really need to have daily communion with God, believing His Word. When we believe the Word, the Holy Spirit will connect with you. The Word of God, which is the Spirit, and the Holy Spirit, the Word of God, which is God, and His Spirit, and the Holy Spirit connect, and will create miracle when we believe, and we speak, and we believe it, and we live in our life. Amen? Amen. One question. This is my ending. Do you take God seriously? Yes. Amen. Amen. You are here today because you take God seriously. Amen. You do not look into what people say, what people judge, what people try to condemn, what the enemy try to confuse us. Pastor Bonnet and Pastor Mahali, they create a church. Who ask them? There is many doubts that the enemy is trying to tell you us, including me. <laughs> I actually have a church uh, gathering in my house today. I cancel it because um, Pastor uh, Pastor Irene is uh, requesting me to give message because of the neutral situation and supposed to be. Brother Mani to preach. <laughs> and he says, no, my spirit says, <laughs> Sister Dorothy. So I myself say, I don't want to get involved with this better Lord. But then after that, I keep on praying and praying. I said, Lord, it's not for me. You will be the one to guide and you will be the one to show. If I have peace, I will come. If I don't have peace, it's not from God. Anything that is forced is not from God. Anything that is widened is not from God. But if we have peace to come, we come. Not for our glory, but for the glory of God. Amen. So when you believe, you will mark in Him with a seal. So when you believe the word of God, you are sealed. Okay? It's like when you get married. Brother, when you get married, your marriage certificate is sealed. Pastor Bernard, Pastor Ailey, when the marriage uh, contract, when you get married, sealed. Ready sealed, huh? Of course, you are reborn. We are reborn. And when you need to get divorced, very difficult. You know why? You have to pay the lawyer how many hundred thousand pesos? Oh my gosh. Even for your 50, starting fee. Ah, starting fee, 150,000. Oh. So, every, when you, we, uh, because when we the Spirit of God, God already deposits you, sir. So, when you take the Word of God and you constantly Praying with the Spirit, you are being sealed. sealed. So, one of the only way that you will enter into the kingdom of heaven, when you constantly pray with God, believing His word, you are automatically sealed by that. We will be sealed, marking that we belong to God. Okay? The promise of Holy Spirit who is deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the through the praise of his glory. Okay? So when we when we are being deposited and sealed, we are marked for as a child of God. We are marked that we belong to God. Amen? Amen. So 
For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapon we fight are not the weapon of the world. On the contrary, they have the divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish argument and every pretensions that set itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take up this every thought to make it obedient to Christ. And we will be ready to punish every act of disobedience once your obedience is complete. Amen? What does it mean? What does it mean? In the battle we are facing, even in the church, we are not battling against flesh and blood. Flesh and blood. We are battling against spirit and battle against the mind. So we know that at the end of time, God says there is many lukewarm among his children. Before the coming of God, there will be shaking. Shaking. After shaking, you will do sifting. sifting. So which category are we in today? So we are not fighting demons outside, but we are fighting our mind by the controlling of our thought. So Satan cannot do anything to us and our church unless we cooperate with them. Amen? Amen. Satan cannot touch you. Satan cannot touch your financial, Amen. your health, your family. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Unless we allow it. One of the door to enter into our home, to enter into our church, to enter into our financial and our health is mind. your mind. This is the door. Before, yes, he's fighting in the desert with all the believers. Sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, kill the children of God, kill. No, no. Because the Spirit of God already inside us, deposited inside us, and we are sealed. But how long do you want this seal to stay? Do you want to disrespect the marriage? If you want to divorce, remove that seal. Ayaw. Ayaw. If you love God so much, you will not let that seal of marriage with God to be removed. Amen? Amen. So, let us all day will turn to the mirror or to the skin. Every day when you wake up, even me, when I wake up, which one first? Take the phone. Oh, no, no, no. Lord, good morning. <laughs> Holy Spirit, good morning. You are inside me. The church is in me. You are in me. Good morning. You are so sweet, Lord. Today, oh, the sky is so wonderful Amen. because it's raining. It's like in Philippines, raining in Saudi Arabia. Amen? Amen. So, every day, we have to think. When you wake up, which mirror you turn? The mirror of the world. Mirror, mirror of the world. Is my lipstick okay? Is my ups, five ups okay? Do I have money? Or the problem of the world? So, sickness, poverty, anger, jealousy, pride, condemnation, gossip, depression, depression, war, sexual immorality are all demonic that enter from our mind. God loves each one of you. He wants you. Amen. Some people think that because of what they did in the past, they are not perfect. Everybody falls, even me, I fall. Amen. But it doesn't mean when you fall, you will give up. The spirit inside you, the spirit inside you, the spirit inside you are still perfect. Amen. Let us all bring victory of God through the transformation of your life Hallelujah. by your daily connection with God. Yes. And let that spiritual connection bring glory to the name of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. So let us all go home. Let us all, I want all of us, all of us, 
all of us, all of us go home to the perfect heaven. That is our real home. Amen. 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 So brothers and sisters, Sunday. Amen. Even right now. Amen. Right now, none of you are imperfect. Do you know why? I cannot judge you unperfect. I cannot condemn you. Do you know why? Yeah. Because the Spirit of God deposited and still in you. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't mean when you born, you born. Time, you spend that time. You are still perfect in the eyes of God. Amen. Amen. So let us all bring glory to them. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Mr. Deputy. I'm going to have a nice